What? Oh. Whatever you're going to do, I don't care. It just please. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Oh. Please. Yeah, I promise. Thank you. Oh my God, this is the scariest shit I ever heard in my whole entire life. Jesus Lord, take the wheel. Thanks for this. I like taking care of you. His lips look very suspicious. They got bumps on it. Don't kiss him. Girl, you didn't see that cold sore? We have this connection. It's not just because we're both lonely. It's no, I'm not lonely. Oh. Uh, I did not say I was thankful for you. Because I'm not. Ooh. They're done. Fuck you and fuck the I should have fucking killed you when I had the chance. That really happened? You dead girl. I did. <laughs> Welcome back to Andres and I, where today you'll be watching a full reaction of Dexter. I think this is season four, episode something. Whatever the title says, that's what you clicked. Congratulations. Um, I just finished watching this episode. This has got to be the best episode of Dexter that I've seen thus far. And there has been some really high points for Dexter. See, what I don't understand is, I don't know what happens after the season that people started saying like, whatever, whatever, whatever. But this type of creative writing is epic. This episode was epic. Guys, wait until you see my reaction of what happens when um, the father and the son went at it. I know my reaction was crazy. I was not expecting it, but I felt like there was so much leading up to that situation. When it happened, I was not prepared. And trust me, I'm always prepared. Think of this, and when you see my reaction, just know this was everywhere. So, um, it's a bed sheet. I was cold. I saw a part, I wasn't cold anymore. So you'll get to see me do like all sorts of tricks with that. So get ready. I don't even know what I did, but um, I made it through. Um, this, okay, so let's talk about what I did not like at first. Can we? Let's have a conversation as this sun glares right in my eye. Um, let me see if I can move this over because that's super annoying. Um, it didn't help. So, yes, what I didn't like about this episode at first was um, the reporter and um, I forgot his name, but you know who I'm talking about. So when they were like both naked, I was like, oh God, here we go. Like, I don't care. I, like, I honestly thought they were like giving her like this storyline of being like this person who was just sleep around with people to get a story. And I was not interested in that at all. I don't, listen, I grew up with women, like, I don't want to see women being sexualized to, in order to benefit, you know, how life is. Although, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, I just don't want to see it. So at first, I could really honestly thought that that's what it was about. And I really wasn't interested. I wasn't interested in it since she came on the scene and I wanted her to leave the scene real quick. Um, but then getting what we got, actually we'll talk about that with, with the things I like. The other thing that I don't like about this season, the whole damn season, is this random love relationship between Angel and Maria. I don't care. And I hope and pray that we can get to the part where one of, they get caught okay and one has to go they get fired or something and we don't have to see maybe maybe they are writing a character off the show it's one of them it's either angel or it's maria maybe what whichever one they're not going to be here after season four that's how i feel if they if both of them make it out of season four and we have to continue this sh this that storyline in season five i literally will be then i deserve full range on reading them 
down to the ground, and I will. I will read them um, effortlessly, effortlessly um, if I can get the words out right. I will, I will read them for dirty filth. I will bring you guys to a library because, honey, that will be reading. Um, so I'm hoping that this, this season when we wrap up, that we no longer see one of them. I don't know which one gotta go, but one gotta go. I don't care about the storyline. I don't know how you guys felt. Well, a lot of you guys commented and said that when it came on, or when you guys were watching it, that that was your least favorite storyline. I don't know why they put it in there. The only thing I could think of is honestly that they're writing off a person. Like, we already know what's going to happen if they get caught. Um, so that's the only thing I could think of. And now we're going to move on to things I like. So the things I like is Deb's storyline, trying to figure out who shot her. As I'm starting to think, it's going to be Christina. I think that's her name. I also love the Dex going and getting involved once again with this Trinity killer and his family that we thought was so perfect. But in overall, it seems like that is a hot, hotty mess of a family. Honey, when you see a book, please read inside. Don't judge a book by its cover because its story can be shitty. Um, and that's honestly the family. The family looks really good on the outside, but when you start unraveling all those layers, you realize this is a effed up situation at an effed up time. This is an effed up chapter of an effed up sentence of an effed up paragraph. You are just effed up. So, um, that's the things I really, really loved. I loved the fight between the, the, so the, uh, the son and the father. I loved, you can see the tension. You feel so bad for all the people involved. You know how scared they are. I loved finding out that Christina is the daughter of the father. I loved, um, when Dex left it, the Dex and him got into it. So now he knows Dex is a psycho. I love the fact that I loved Rita this episode, honey, because I was, the Rita was my equal balance between Angel and, um, Maria. Rita really served in this episode. She didn't do much, but she was, you know, cooking for her life. That storyline between her and that neighbor, I loved it. And then, um, Dex's partner ended up seeing them make out. Oops! So I feel like she's gonna go downhill. Is he going to tell Dex what happened? We don't know. Also, Deb obviously finding out some really important information that Christina, if that's her name, ha maybe is the person that shot her because she knows way too much stuff. And how would she know if she was not a part of this? Honey, whoever wrote this episode, congratulations. It was effing epic. I effing loved it. And I really can't wait. Now, um, episode 10, guys. When are you going to see episode 10? Mm -hmm. Was this episode 9? I think this is episode 9, right? Give me a second. Please bear with me. Yes, episode 10. When you're going to see it, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. It will be... The, it's going to be before I go on my vacation. I need to stop talking. I don't know. Every airplane in the world right now is flying over my house. And I cannot keep yelling at the microphone. I don't even know how loud I am. You hear all these airplanes, guys? This is not normal. I, maybe everybody's getting the hell out of the city. But I need to wrap this up because I am tired of hearing these god darn airplanes. So anyways, um, episode 10 will probably come out uh, maybe th this weekend is what I'm going to aim for. So please bear with me. I already gave a long speech in my intro. Listen to that intro, honey. The intro lets you know about why you haven't seen Dexter, what's going on with Dexter, where we're going to go after this. Um, and just uh, please bear with me on that. And um, yeah, so look for episode 10. And then when I come back on my vacation, it will be... I'm going to try to edit episode 11 and 12 and then do full reactions for channel members. So episode 11 and 12 is where I'm going to try to edit it. If It will be out. Like, I will watch these two episodes um, and edit it and put it out. So it will be on YouTube, but not for viewing eyes um, until I come back from my vacation. And I'll see if YouTube tries to block it then before I put it out. Um, if it does, it, those two episodes will be full reactions. This is, this studio that owns this content is the worst studio. They don't like this stuff. Like, it's clear. Like, they don't have to tell me. I get it. They don't want Dexter on YouTube. So, they block it. And, um, we're not trying to have it over here. It's just not about that life. So, if I have issues with 
the edit and how if it gets blocked I will make those everything for reaction until I am done with Dexter so that was my spiel that's how I feel this was an amazing episode I can't wait until episode 10 so guys buckle up and get ready because she has just hit the fan with Happy said, guys, if you see my reaction with us, you are not subscribed. Hit subscribe and also please like and share this content because it does wonders for this channel. And I will see you all next time on Andres L.